Donut. I didn't forget this series. Episode one, the dough, is over. Let's go to episode two, which is going to be the glaze. What's up, guys? Welcome to this video. This is my series on YouTube called The Perfect Donut. Today, we are filming episode two, the glaze. In this episode, we are gonna do and talk about the thickness. And with a glaze, I mean a donut that's covered totally in a glaze. So, you know, your crispy cream. Delicious, soft, glazed donut is just perfect. I've never had it, but I think it's perfect. So I want to recreate that. But before I can do that, I got to test out a few things. So I've got a wooden board that's empty. Got to glaze some donuts. So let's do it. I'm already frying the donut, so while I'm frying it, I do want to make some icing. So to each bowl, I'll add, in the beginning, 50 grams of icing. There we go, each bowl has 50 grams. So I'm gonna make three different thickness of icing. So this time I'm just gonna use water. So to this bowl, I will add only two tablespoons of water. To this bowl, I'm gonna do three. And to the last bowl, I will do four. So one, two, three, four. So each bowl will have a different thickness. So this will be the thickest one with only two tablespoons as you can see it's kind of thick this bowl has three tablespoons and it's gonna be liquidy so this one is like water it's really really thin so I didn't really think this true so what I'm gonna do is leave one with three tablespoons this one is gonna have two and I'm gonna do one more batch and to this batch I'm just gonna add one tablespoon like so so this will be the thickest and this is not even gonna work. So I'm gonna do dash more like so. This one is really white and really thick. I wanna see which thickness I really prefer and like. So let's go for the first one, the thickest. This has one and a half tablespoon of water to 50 grams of powdered sugar. And I wanna dip them all the way. So all the way covered. This is gonna be a glazed donut and this is thick. This is really thick. It's already hard to dip it in. Let it drip off the excess glaze and I'm just gonna put it right here. The next one has two tablespoons of water and I'm gonna dip it in, cover it completely and I can see already this is so easy, so much easier to cover the donut. Let it drip the excess and just place it. And the last one, the runniest, glaze and it's like really thin this has three tablespoons of water so i'm just gonna take a donut and i'm just gonna dip it in and this is gonna be a really light glaze you can see the shine only so i'm really curious how this will turn out so here we go i'm gonna change up the setup like so this is the thin glaze this is the medium glaze and this is the thick glaze and you can already see the difference the thickest glaze you can see the glaze kind of white then we go to the medium one it's like really shiny but you can't see the whiteness as the thick one as you can see the comparison and then the lightness lightest glaze the thinnest glaze a small shine to the donut but not as shiny as the medium glaze. So guys, I'm gonna let this sit for 10 minutes, let the glaze firm up and see which one I prefer. <laughs> oh my God, I just recorded a 10 minute clip when I, tr when I tried the donut and the camera just shut off and the micro SD just deleted the footage. So guys, what's up? <laughs> I have the donuts in front of me, over half of the donuts. Oh my god, I'm ending the year so strong. So yeah, I've got the thin glaze run here. I've got the medium one and the thick glaze. So I had a 10 minute, 10 minute long clip where I like perfectly explained all these donuts. I broke them, tore them apart, I talked about them. And I just lost the footage. And I didn't want to eat all the donuts, but I got it with now. And I'm mostly down because I talk like really good about these donuts, had a good review and I'm not sure if I can do it again. Because the first take is always the best take. I'm luckily, luckily I, I saved this one for last 
Just when I when I wanted to break the donut, it just shut off and I lost the footage. So guys, let's go and do it. Didn't want to eat all the donuts, but now I have to. So and I'm gonna try and like do the same thing as the first take, but I'm not sure if I can do it. So I've got the thin glaze right here. I can notice already the glaze is too thin. It's like really thin and it's sticky. It didn't firm, it didn't harden up, and you can see it on the bottom. And it's like really sticky and it's not enjoyable to eat. So I tore the donut already apart. But let's do it again. Here we go. The donut is like really perfect, tasty, flavorful. I got the donut recipe on point. Let's try it out again with the thin glaze. Give you my reaction. So, mmm. Like I said, the donut is perfect and the donut recipe is just on point. And why am I talking about the recipe while while filming a glaze because I can't taste the glaze. That is the thing I talked about. The glaze is really thin. You get a subtle hit, hint of the glaze, the sugar, but it's so thin that you taste the dough more, which is not a bad thing. The dough is perfect, props to me, but I do want a good glaze on it. And the thing also is, with the really thin glaze, so I added three tablespoons of water and it was so thin that the donut, can't really show you it, but the donut absorbed some of the moisture. So it was mostly water with just a little bit of icing. So it's kind of moist inside, which is not bad, but I don't taste the sugars. And that's a glaze. Glaze is just straight up sugar. Mm. But guys, I'm really, really liking the donut recipe. So next up, the medium glaze, and I'm just gonna save the clip before I lose it again. So here we go, medium glaze, and <laughs> I broke the whole donut apart. But yeah, what you can notice on the medium glaze, I added only two tablespoons of water. You can see the glaze firmed up. And what I wanted to show you is, when you break this donut, the glaze like shatters, and that's a really good sign. It doesn't do it as much, only on the bottom side, not on the top. You can see some shadows, but that's because I ho I was holding it. It had most of the icing on the bottom because I did, can I show you it? I have the tray right here. So I let it drip on the tray and it does stick to the tray and this icing gets like thick underneath, which is good because you do taste it more. Hmm. Yes. Mm. It's like cinnamon sugar, then you, Put your lips on. Mm, 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 mm. Mm. It like sticks to your lips and that's like so tasty. That feeling. Mm. You lip your lips, you lick your lips and get that sugar taste. And also what I said, totally forgot about it. So I mentioned that I really didn't like the thick glaze at all. But just looking at this donut, I will show you it in a second. I think I'm gonna like it the most. I'm, I'm not gonna say anything yet because I'm liking this one also, but I think it needs a little bit more sugar because the dough is kinda out there more. So two donuts down, the thin one is already out of the picture. The medium one has like a really high chance of winning, at least maybe tweaking it a bit. But now, gotta save the clip again. It's time for the best looking one. So I didn't like it at all, but when it firms up, it looks so legit. KFC, McDonald's got nothing on me, and Krispy Kreme, dude, don't challenge me. This looks legit like a Krispy Kreme donut. It is not big, it is like round all around. It's like a perfect size, perfect round, and the glaze on top is like and it looks so so pretty so guys this is the shot I want so when I tear it apart you know that famous Krispy Kreme shot it, the glaze like shatters and it gets like crumbly and all over the place so I it looks good now I hope it will shatter as a Krispy Kreme one so let's do it let's go let's see if it will shatter yeah there it goes that's what I was looking for a shattering action you can see the donut and this is a legit icing it looks so pretty in the beginning and now just all over the place so let's try it out i'm just scared that the icing will be too much but let's find out i got it this is it wow 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 no words. 
No freaking words. Mm, the donut itself is so flavorful. Oh my god. Krispy Kreme, I'm coming for you. I'm coming for you. The glaze is perfect. This is why, where I'm going at. But I do want to show you something because this was the first donut I glazed in that bowl. And then I did another donut. And it doesn't look as pretty as this that did in the beginning. So I did this donut after the first donut. And you can see it's like all over the place. It's like thick here, thin here, then again thick. And it's not like that pretty. The glaze is good. Look at the bottom, it's like really thick. So I do need to find a way to not dip it, but kind of like drip it over the donut. Like you see Krispy Kreme or other companies do. With the big machine, they take the whole machine and over the donut. I think that is the way to go because it will just make a glaze completely over the donut and it will just drip off. Because when I dipped it in the bowl with the sugar, the icing, I turned it, I kind of ruined it with my fingers so I gotta find a way to just glaze it on top because this is just perfect this is the perfect glaze mm, maybe a bit runnier but nothing the less I got it and it's so simple I don't even think but I will try it out I will test it out I don't think I need to change the flavor because the flavor is just good but I do want to try things out. Just for example, I want to try a glaze out with golden syrup or just syrup in general. Maybe buy like maple syrup and try it out with the icing. Maybe it will give more flavor. I also want to try it out with vanilla and try out with milk. So that will be the next episode guys. The thickness I've got it. So on 50 grams of powdered sugar I need to add one and a half tablespoons of water. That's the perfect thickness and I'm just gonna leave it at that because I think this is good. It's not too overpowering. It seemed like it but I had two donuts before that so the sugars are kind of kicking in. So next episode is gonna be the taste. This was the thickness. So guys I'm getting really close to the perfect donut and I might just sell these donuts it because it was just on point Buenissimo. just to show you a comparison this is the medium one I had one more left and this is the thick glaze let me know which one you like the most quite a sight not this one but the thickness so this has a shine to it as well but it's not as a as this one this is like I don't know looks original looks different than this one this just looks like dough and this you for sure notice it has some flavor to it. So guys, if you like this episode, if you like this video, please be sure to hit the thumbs up button so I know you liked it. And if you're new to my channel and these series, please follow the series and my journey to opening an own donut shop. Subscribe on my YouTube channel at Live Life right there. And follow me and see the behind the scenes on Instagram at DarkoBoonies. And if you want to be the first on these videos, turn on your notification bell right there and you will be notified when these videos are up. And guys, I hope you have a great day, great night, whatever it is in life. Do what you want. Do it now. I dare you live life. Peace.